In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a four size ready to print certificate design in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created this design, a very beautiful and elegant design. Uh, this kind of a uh, ribbon here and I have just add some icon and you can type the certificate name here the certificate of appreciation which is completely editable you can just change it and this certificate is awarded to you can change the employee name and add more details and at the bottom you can add the date and the signature and on the left side you can add your company logo I have created one more design where I have changed the background theme to dark one so you can see the same thing but it is more black with red ribbon and i've used some the golden colors here so depending on your requirement you can just change the color edit the text and print the certificate and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 to do this. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and I'm going to change the slide size to A4, uh, the portrait format. For that, go to Design, Slide Size, go to Custom Slide Size. And from the drop down, I'm going to choose the paper A4 size you can see here and the orientation make it portrait and click OK and it will ask you two messages to choose from this maximize or ensure fit you can just choose maximize all right so it end up getting a A4 size portrait format the next thing we need to do is to add some shapes for that go to insert shapes I'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size you can see here more than half i'm going to cover the rectangle shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to add the right triangle so select the right triangle draw the right triangle all right shape outline no outline and shape fill you can give some different color and then I can rotate it flip horizontal you can see here and then I'm just going to bring it up something like this all right now I'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl D to duplicate and rotate it you can see here I can make it flip horizontal and then I'm going to make it flip vertical and I'm going to paste it here so you can see here the one blue stripe that only I'm going to keep and the rest I'm going to delete it okay first select the blue rectangle hold the shift key select the right triangle any right triangle uh, up or the, the top or the bottom doesn't matter so I'm going to select the top right triangle merge shape and make it subtract now I'm going to hold the shift key again select the right triangle merge shape subtract so I end up getting a shape something like this so now I'm going to set the margins okay so we you know when we print the certificate uh, we should put it in such a way that uh, the the borders should not be cut all right so for that right mouse click uh, go to the you can see here the grids and the format I'm going to add vertical line you can see here one vertical line has been added I'm just going to drag it towards the left side all right maybe 3.56 and then I'm going to add one more same vertical and then i'm going towards the right side all right same 3.56 i can give it all right so let's adjust it properly later on also we can adjust it not a problem all right so let me just put it and then i'm going to add two horizontal lines and add horizontal line and just drag this upwards maybe I can give 5.25 and again one more horizontal line and drag this downwards all right something like this so you can see here I have added uh, the the margins or the guidelines so what we need to do is we have to make sure that our text or any design should know should not go beyond this point okay 
so then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this part somewhat so go to insert shapes I'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle and give some different color all right shape outline no outline and then I'm going to bend this something like this can you see here and I'm going to increase the size so this part I'm going to cut it let me just make somewhat transparent so you know exactly what I'm trying to do so this area for example I want this area whatever which is highlighted that I want to delete it or remove it so I'm going to select this this blue stripe hold the shift key select the this green rectangle and then merge shape I'm going to make it subtract all right then duplicate this by pressing ctrl D hold the sh this one you can see here this arrow just drag this something like this and I'm going to paste it here make it something you know there should not be any gap even there's a gap we are going to put some more uh, shape on top of that so now I don't want this area again I'm going to select the rectangle okay select this hold the shift key select this one and subtract so you can see here we end up getting a shape something like this now to cover this area i'm going to insert one more shape so you can see here you can go to the stars and banners i'm going to select this 32 point star hold the shift key so that you get a perfect circle and then you can see the small orange and the point just drag this out okay and shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give a red color here and i'm going to paste it here all right something like this and if you want you can add one more also on top of this for example press ctrl D to duplicate I'm going to hold the shift key reduce the size and you can give any different color any color of your choice and I'm going to paste it here and just make sure that it is properly aligned okay so if you want you can just give some different color maybe I want to give black here okay so black I have given and then let me just make it more otherwise it look like a sunflower I don't want that to happen all right and then go to insert icons and I'm going to add one icon here with the shape of a trophy so let me just drag this down scroll down and I'm going to choose this one insert and shape fill I'm going to use some maybe some golden color and I'm going to put it here exactly all right then I'm going to add few more shapes here the ribbon here go to insert shapes I'm going to select one rectangle draw rectangle maybe this much size shape outline no outline and then I'm going to add one more this one this triangle draw the triangle give some different color because that area I want to remove it no outline let me just zoom in and I'm going to paste it something like this you can see here I can just bend it a little bit like this then I'm going to select this one and subtract it okay so I got one here so you can see here I can increase or decrease I'm just rotating it here keep one press ctrl D to duplicate rotate the other side put it here and select both of these and send these two back all right so now our design is ready now it's time to change the color to some other color i'm going to more fill colors and let me just choose some maybe the teal color here or whichever color you feel better you can just add that color so you can see here we have done this one so our basic part adding the ribbon is done so then we need to add some few shapes at the uh, the bottom and then you can add some text so let's add some text at the the shapes at the bottom so go to insert shapes i'm going to select maybe this right triangle draw the right triangle all right something like this here shape outline no outline shape fill you can give some dark colors at the bottom and then duplicate this one rotate it and I'm going to put it here and this one let me just reduce it a little bit 
all right so i got this design also now it's time to add the text so go to insert text box and i'm going to type certificate of appreciation i hope spelling is right no okay certificate of appreciation yeah and this one i'm going to make it somewhat gray color increase the size if you want we can just make it bold maybe somewhat darker yeah all right so certificate of appreciation i can put it here and then below i can add the year so double uh, duplicate this one by pressing ctrl d and i'm going to say year 2021 maybe more darker color or you can use teal color also increase the size you can see here and i'm going to put it here maybe this is too big all right so let's align it properly select both and make sure to format align left all right and then i'm going to add few more details here so i'm going to duplicate this remove the bold reduce the size and i'll say that this certificate is awarded to all right and i can add the name here again duplicate this and here i'm going to use the same color what i have used for the ribbon you just add the name all right if you want you can just increase the size also all right and then you can add detailed text so go to insert text box i'm going to say equals lorem within brackets one i'm going to make it somewhat lighter color all right let me just align it properly here the alignment makes a very important role gentlemen so make sure that it is properly aligned all right and then below you can add the signature date and signature i can just put for example signature all right and then i'm going to add one line let me just add one line hold the shift key you get the perfect straight line this one line i'm going to give some gain some light color and signature also i'm going to reduce the size so you can see here the design is ready now it's here if you want you can just add any icon here or the company logo for example let me just add one oval shape here or any shape and i can you can add the company logo here all right i'm just going to give this space and then you can type the logo here sorry paste the logo all right so with this we have completed the design and if you want a different theme also you can do it and before that one the last step go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle covering the whole slide shape outline no outline shape fill make it white and send this to back all right now the certificate is ready now what you need to do is to print it how to print it you have to go to file instead of before printing you have to convert it to pdf file okay you can just say export and i can make it create a pdf can you see here create pdf i'm just going to select this one and you can just type the the certificate name and just save this as a copy and make sure do not select this minimum size publishing this is for the online only select the standard publishing online and printing okay and just click the publish it will convert into a pdf file and that file can be given to the printer and then that can be printed